Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers, and this one specifically is aimed at Godot developers. I think this might be the first time we've had a Godot-specific humble bundle yet. Now this one is the complete Godot software bundle. This is a collection of courses from Zenva, and amazingly enough, especially considering Godot 4 just shipped a few months back, a lot of these courses are actually for Godot 4. So if you don't know how this works, it's a collection of stuff, in this case, training courses from Zenva, organized around this theme, in this case, Godot, but you're also gonna find some stuff here for like rigging and Blender, a little bit about art and Photoshop, but almost all of this stuff is about Godot. Organized into tiers, you buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all the tiers below it. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose, and thank you so much if you do to help support Game From Scratch. Without further ado, let us jump in and take a look what you get. So at the $1 tier, and this is a nice, kind of introductory, uh, do I like Zenva or not kind of <laughs> tier here? For a buck, you can find out because you get the introduction to Godot 4 game development there. Uh, and then we jump up to the median tier. This is based off of the average price between the two. It generally doesn't make any sense. But at this level, it adds two more courses. One is the Godot 3 game development for beginners. And then you're getting the Godot 4 mini projects. And then going for the full fat, all your money on the table. This is $25 USD. And at this point in time, you're getting create a 2D platformer with Godot Godot 4, you're getting uh, develop a 3D platformer with Godot 4, uh, build a micro turn-based RPG with Godot 4, real-time strategy games with Godot 4, and then introductions to game design, level design for beginners, intro to rigging models in Blender, introduction to 3D modeling with Blender, introduction to pixel art with Photoshop, and then all of the stuff we talk. Oh no, this is still new. Uh, build a first person shooter with Godot 3, strategy game with Godot 3, 2D RPG with Godot 3, and an action RPG with Godot 3. So uh, you're getting a lot of courses there and one, two, three, four, uh, five, Six of them are specifically for Godot 4. It's not like the Godot 3 stuff would be that out of date either, but when it comes to training courses, you obviously want to have it as close to the version you are working on. When you are a beginner and someone's using a version that isn't the same as yours, it can definitely get confusing. So having these all be very, very current, that is definitely nice. Now you get a redemption key here, then you redeem them on the Zenva site. The Zenva site looks like this. You're going to find a plethora of Godot courses intermingled throughout here. They're all available there. You click on a course like this one, for example. This is the introduction to the Godot 4 game development course. This is your tier one course that you would get. And you're going to see an idea of the kind of stuff that it covers. It tracks where you are, so you can reset your progress, but you got to go through it. And, you know, when you come back in, it says, okay, you're at this point, and you can resume from there. You see the kind of stuff that the intro course covers, things like variables, scripting, operators, conditions, functions, uh, introduction to 3D, node tools, it's kind of like working your way around the editor and, um, you know, the, the basics of programming. Uh, it's a two and a half hour long course. And then we're gonna look at another example here where this is the uh, develop a 3D platformer with Godot 4. And you get an idea of the kind of stuff that's available here. The various different, you know, kind of walks you through um, the step by steps of actually creating a platforming character, for example. And you can see they have their own built in player like this. Uh, you've got, you can navigate through the lessons down here. You can mark it as written. There, there are notes available for each particular version, which I definitely appreciate. One other really cool thing that they do, uh, and I, I applaud this, and I wish every online trainer had this. There are course notes in PDF format, and you check out the course notes. It's basically a book on that particular bit of the course. So you're gonna see here, as we're going through it, if you need to get access to the source code, for example, all of the source code is in there. So even if you don't wanna do the video courses, you're gonna get a number of uh, PDF training materials that go with it, that walk through kind of the, the workflow that you went through, and then the, any code example you actually did will be there available as well. I do like that aspect of it for sure. So that is, uh, again, one of the examples of the course. I haven't gone through any of these. These are basically just released as far as I know. Um, it's a solid bundle if you are looking for training materials for the Godot game engine. Again, I like the fact that a lot of this is for Godot 4. Although, you know what? Again, Godot 3, there's a brand new 3.7 release about to come out still. So it's perfectly viable to keep working on the Godot 3 level stuff as well. And then you got a couple things in here for Blender, Photoshop, and so on as well. A good mix of courses for sure. The ultimate question, and I can't actually give you this answer, is how good are these courses? And I, again, I get kind of a mixed response when it comes to Zenvo. The thing that Zenvo is definitely known for is they focus on that beginner 
to maybe at most beginner intermediate level. Uh, but again, a beginner tutorial on how to make RPG games or real-time strategy games or platforming games and so on, there's definitely value there. But I'm curious to you, uh, have you done any of the Zenva courses? And if so, what do you ultimately think of them? What do you think of this package? Uh, again, I know a lot of you are interested in Godot 4. It's interesting to see that they've got material out there already. And yeah, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.